doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing, bro. If I knew you do this stuff, man, I would be so happy before. He installed adenal sensor. Bro, all this is gonna gain some weight, huh? Wait. Like air to water. Of course. It's gonna add some weight, so we, we should be fine. I think it's gonna weigh like 3,000 pounds with me in it. Maybe. Wow, that is sick, bro. You already connecting everything? And the fuel system is all plumbed up now. Everything's connected. Everything's working. I mean, everything should be working pretty good. Nick even connected this piece right here. I'm pretty happy. I'm not sure how we're gonna go on about this one. But we are really close to be starting the car. He's doing the wiring right now. And we are waiting for a guy to come by tomorrow to do some wiring. So we are really close to cranking the car. And I can't wait to crank this car. I really want to hear how this V8 sounds. You guys know I'm so excited about V8. I always loved V8. I, I always wanted one. I, I wanted one, a V8 in my car. That's what I wanted the most. We'll see. We'll see how it's going to be like. Nick said, so we're going to be fa fabricating the turbocharge in the front somehow. I'm not sure if we're going to go sideways or we're going to go this way. But we're doing the air to water intercooler and turbocharger in the front. So we're going to be cutting a hole somewhere here for a turbo. So it's going to be like a real drag car, like a drag setup car. All right, guys, Dimitri is doing the wiring. The main parts for the fuel system is adding four, four hubs. What is it called? The surge pumps. I mean, those little switches, switches, the little switches. Relays and finishing up right here. I'm so happy that we, I have people like this working on my car because they know what they're doing. Because there's no way I would have done this myself ever. On the other set of wires, you're going to take off. This is twisted set of cam wires. These are PT cam. This is what's going to be tied into. Making all the wiring super clean. Wow. Made a connection like this. Wow. This is why I never do anything myself. Ever. It's getting pretty jizzy in there now. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we can fit. I mean, it's pretty skinny, maybe like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left everything Be kind because of like, the box is kind yeah. of big, so uh, I left everything long so we can. We could make it. Yes, 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 yes. So, because yeah. I'm pretty sure sometimes we might have to take a wire or two, no? Or not really? That's yeah, good, maybe. It's pretty yeah. much most of it. Mostly, is this little wire? Yes, 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 yes. Like, so I use this bump box and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so surprise. If this is not the right one, we could easily like switch. Change it. it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay, why I okay. like. I'm. I'm not a hundred. No, I'm gonna mount it, mount it now. Uh, so we took these out to make it a little cleaner, yeah. Wow, those are really you. bulky. It's wow. unnecessary. The trigger wires, you don't need them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. These are the main, like, this is gonna be the main power. Main power. And this is the I can't wait. To, I can't wait to hear this car, honestly.
see like my original idea. Mm -hmm. These would be mounted on nice, kind of in the line and shit. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah, but it's it's kind of I'll uh, I'll do the best I can right yeah, now with yeah. like what I got and shit. Yes, yes, it'll yes. look decent. So yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah. See this little loop. I'm leaving the slack don't in case worry, we bro. move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so. worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. That looks sick though, bro. All right, that time has came. We're gonna try to crank it today. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to start it today, but we're gonna crank it at least. Got braking oil. Let's put it in. Okay, go ahead. No fuel leaking, nope. Nope. It's it's coming on, yeah. Back and tell. Now press next. Yes, okay. Now now start the engine. Hey, go look at the flat. Is it moving? Yeah, yeah, it's moving. Yeah. I told you. It's moving. It's moving. Told you, bro. Okay, go ahead. Put ice. I put the jumper on. Okay. This is so sick. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm like a little baby right now, bro. Woo! <laughs> Damn, bro, it was amazing. I told you we did something with the settings, bro. Woo! <laughs> Damn, bro, guys, I'm so happy I got this V8 in here. I'm gonna be whooping all, whooping on the evil. I'm just kidding, bro. We're gonna be having fun and racing. Okay. Start, let me try to start, record me. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> it, it runs good, it runs real damn good. We already cranked it hella times, we're good to go, right? We're good to go, right? Okay, never mind. Oh man. I just seen the fire, damn boy. <laughs> I just seen the fire in there. <laughs> oh bro, I'm so happy guys. I'm like a little baby, bro. This is some money came by happiness. I'm telling you, money came by happiness. Did you see the flame? <laughs> Nick, put the front end back just to see things, how much space we have. He's gonna start welding the turbo, the turbo kit. Like garbage weld? All right, Nick already put up the Air to water. Now he's welding the hot side. Yes, sir. It's hot, hot and ready. Like Little Caesars. You got some motivation. To
it's starting to get somewhere slowly and the tuber is going to be right there all right so we are not done yet we're going to pick up the tubo higher and we're going to install flex flex um flex pipes metal flex pipes right there between here and here but that's how it's already starting to look i love this guys big turbocharger oh man it looks so good Woo! so nick installed the radiator and the oh sure yeah yeah, yeah. install the radiator now he's already making the exhaust for turbocharger is on. <laughs> oh. All right. Nick is making the cold side. And look at this. Hot side is pretty much done. All right, he just tacked it just to keep it in place. And one more is right there. Guys, we are almost done. I'm just waiting for freaking drag shocks. So Nick just installed the billet training arm right there. And he just put a sticker from the rev shift billet training arm on the Viking drag shocks. So this one here, the OEM one, I just bent it with my hand. It's too weak. It's really, really weak, and uh, it basically messes up the camber while the launch. So we installed that, that one, and we also installed the airbags into the springs over there. So it basically gonna, it basically gonna um, not squat as much. It's gonna remove the squat as much as possible. And because this is IRS rear end, it's unbelievable how much miscellaneous things stinks you have to buy. Oil pressure sensor. Oh my goodness, it's so much work, guys. 